contain sexual references, coarse language and nudity. Good morning, this is the Andrew Dental Breakfast Show on the audio triple M and we're looking for six unusual people willing to share one house for three months. We call it the house from hell. And you thought it would be easy okay. spending three months living rent free with okay, six one more. people you don't even know. If you think you have what it takes, give us a call right now on 9365. Amanda Keller at the entrance of the House from Hell. And welcome to the outer edge of lunacy. We've challenged Australia's six most mismatched housemates to survive three months under the same roof while we play havoc with their lives. It's a duty where no man or woman has gone before. They're human lab rats trapped in a maze where every word and every move they make is captured on camera. Why don't they try to escape? Well, it's something called greed. There's 5,000 bucks a piece if they go the distance. Oh, and as an added incentive to stay, we're locking them in for the first two weeks. Day one starts before dawn. OK, boys, let's wake him up. Wake him up, boys. The house from hell, their first day in. Let's go. <laughs> Jocelyn, how are you feeling this morning? Oh, not too flash. Yeah, just one hell of a way to wake up. Um, yeah, it's fantastic. I'm pretty impressed with what I think. It is Bastille Day in France, so you're pretty happy that the French have the World Cup. Uh, oh, that'll be right, I guess. <laughs> so who are these hopeful heroes who've agreed to let us poke into every nook and cranny, and I do mean every nook and cranny, of their very private lives? Well, the money, I guess, to a certain degree, but the adventure. I'm approaching 40, so, yeah, a bit of adventure seemed good at the time. Colin Beggs, age 39, sells furniture, married, three kids, self-confessed slob. I'm a Gemini. I've probably got a bad seed somewhere. <laughs> I've not found it yet. Lee Hunter, age 28, painter and decorator. Single Scottish git, wants to be famous. I find myself a quite outgoing person, um, nice person to talk to, easy to get along with and a fanatical cleaner, which I probably do go on everyone's nose in that way. Sandy Embleton, age 30, self-employed cleaner, four-year relationship, former exotic dancer. I said to Dan, I'll be here for a year, I don't care. Everything's water off, ducks back to me. Andrew Janiszewski, age 22, self-employed, four-year relationship, Westy surfer. I tend to take things as they come more than anything and not, or try not to get very stressed about it, but... I think if Texas came to a dreadful end, I would be pretty upset about that. Jocelyn Barber, age 20, third year uni student, single, owns a pet chicken called Texas. I'm actually very nervous about the whole thing. I think I may actually be the first one to go. Kelly Hennebury, age 26, advertising executive, dating lots, newly outed lesbian. They've all taken two weeks off work. Prisoners in a madhouse, 24 hours a day. It's a sort of honeymoon for six, to see how they do or don't get along. And it's certainly not love at first sight. And so far, what do you reckon about the house from hell, mate? What do you think about it? It's not too much of a house from hell, is it? No, it's a house of heaven, man. Yeah, it's of enjoyment. <laughs> <laughs> so far, every woman concerned we've had has been tendered to quite well. Yeah. <laughs> we've had food, beer, camera attention, female attention. What more do you want, you know what I mean? I'm sitting in the sunshine out the back garden, cut my toenails with my, without a care in the world. Mm. And we're getting presents tomorrow as well. What more can you ask for? <laughs> we're getting a housewarming present. Are we? Yeah. Cool. Uh, so there's over 150 beer bottles. 
empty beer bottles on the kitchen table, so you can check. There you go. Oh, nice. yes! What is it? That's oh. awesome. It's a drum kit. Bill Luke's well annoyed with his new guest. Oh, a ringside seat for Drew, the Westy surfer. Can you play? He drew the short straw and has to bunk down in the main living room. Matt. Quite a bit of Matt, anyway. <laughs> Yeah. Go on then, hit it. Go on, Drew, baby boy. Sure. Shows your rhythm. It's early days, and some of our other housemates are also finding don't they don't march to the do beat of the same drum. Um, I just did it for a joke, and now I'm in it. I'm like, big shock to me because I still live at home, and I don't live with people, so it's like, it's all new environment for me, different people from different types of life, different backgrounds and I'm finding it very hard to adapt to these people and their living styles. We've got the video camera going and everything here. <laughs> yeah. We bought a video camera yesterday for all this, so I can record everything. Right, listen, uh, Drew, yeah, I'm oh, going to uh, awesome. spun Maybe. off, you know, OK? So what are you yeah. doing? Yeah, see you later. OK. And i somewhere. <laughs> Sandy's cleaning again. Here you go, girl. She could be the one to go first. Why? She, she's always right. She's never wrong. I must admit a role that I normally like, but I don't have to live with it, I, you know, with a sort of person that she is every day, so it gets a bit overbearing. This oh, right now. You know what I mean? I'm not saying I won't. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not saying that. No, I'm just saying we'll probably have a few confrontations with a few. Uh, we'll survive. <laughs> I know we'll survive, but I'll... For the next week, anyway. Yeah, the next and then I'll play the bash I'll tie you down and torture you. Well, yeah, that make promises you're not going to keep. I'll keep it. Okay, then, I'll keep it. I'll be prepared next week, Carl. Come on, I'll have some of the big back. Yeah, well, thanks for dropping me in. Watch out. Me. Because I'll tie you down and I'll tie up right you. Tie up right, tie up right here. Then I'm going to come in when I come up to torture. Then I might put some honey on you all the way down your chest. I want to see you. And then you're looking at the ants. Oh. Yeah, well, Sandy and I, we're probably pretty scary together, actually. We're both Sagittarians. I don't know who's out there who is a Sagittarian, but, um, yeah, pretty evil heads and, um, pretty, pretty twisted personalities. We find a lot of things pretty funny that others don't. Kelly hadn't told her workmates or many other people that she was a lesbian before coming to the house from hell. Whew, guess the secret's out now. <laughs> Kelly was a late starter in this hell house after one of the originals took a dive. Much to Drew's relief, he has very set I mean, views. Th there was supposed to be a transvestite or transsexual or something in here, so obviously you form, or I, I form the first opinion of I don't want anything to do with it. Um, luckily that pulled out, and um, Kelly, like, she, she's cool, she's alright, she sat up and had a few drinks with us and that, so got no problem with them. Just Sandy tries to give a bit of flack, doesn't know much what she's on about and tries to sort of stick it to me. I mean, you know, you sort of, sort of talk about something that you know and then she tries to stick it to you like you don't know what you're on about, so that annoys me, people that think they know what they're on about when they don't. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Friction so soon. Sandy hasn't even noticed. For her, it's all fun and games, especially when the first of several radio DJs come to play. Well, I got it last night. Ladies and gentlemen, what is standing between these two are a lot of curry sausages, one per night. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus and Sandy Christ can't Jesus. wait to feel them. <laughs> we will do a great curry. <laughs> Sandy, you need to call them shit. Dave, you know what? <laughs> David there, walking down there, here. Well, there. Yep. He would it's driving me crazy. She's starting to drive everyone crazy. I think if there's a, a turning point in this whole play that we're in, which it is a play of sorts, um, that every, well, not everyone, but the majority of people may have a snipe at Sandy, I think. Already it's plain to see the members of this crazy household want to get something off their chest. <laughs> This is a 10 News update.
Tonight, in Tens Late News, all eyes on interest rates as the Aussie dollar surges. Navy chiefs denied claims our new $5 billion submarines are duds, but admit there are some design faults. Also tonight, Cheryl Kono hits the front in the race for Dixon. Aussie author Cathy Lett stirs up a storm in the UK over the Miss World pageant. Fifteen years on, from cheap wine to vintage rock and roll, Cole Chisel reunite. And also together again, Jeff and Felicity Kennett. Details, late news. And ahead in sports tonight, a frenzied final day of AFL trading. More than two dozen players switching clubs in a series of deals. Richmond coming out of it the worst, though, after refusing to trade Wayne Campbell. A setback for Pat Rafter in his bid to claim the world number one spot. The Aussie has lost in the first round of the Swiss Indoor Championships to Daniel Varchek. Surprisingly, Pete Sampras also a first round loser. We speak to Ironman champion Guy Andrews and Commonwealth Games gold medalist Heather Turland. Sports tonight. Yes, sir. being in the sun every chance I got, not realising most wrinkles are caused by sun damage. But now you can visibly reduce the signs of sun damage with Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Wrinkle Cream. The penetrating action of retinol firms and smooths the appearance of wrinkles and age spots, leaving your skin looking firmer, younger, healthier. Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Wrinkle Cream. Recommended by dermatologists around the world. Like to cut your car insurance bill down to size? RECQGIO have cut their premiums in many areas and you can pay by the month. So for more affordable motor insurance, call RACQGIO on 13 1905. Chop chop! Introducing Mighty Dog. Small dogs go about life as if they're taking on the world. That's why we make Mighty Dog. It's packed with protein for the energy they need to be their best. New Mighty Dog. It does big things for small dogs. We know there's something out there. Steven Spielberg's revised masterpiece. Are you ready for a close encounter of a special kind? You can make contact. 8.30 Friday here on 10. He's a sinner. I'm waiting with the door open. And I love it. And the time of truth has come. I'm going to hell. Now there's no time to waste. That's your sweet ass. Tell <laughs> it, Daddy. On The Simpsons, 7.30 Sunday on 10. The six misfits are not home alone in this house from hell. They have a minder, a kind of house mother come spy called um, TJ. The dining room beer bottle messages is excellent. So if anyone wants to go in there and change it at any time, that is a really good idea. Oh. Now, the one thing we need to talk about tonight is smoking. A couple of people have pointed it out. There's smoking going on in the bedrooms upstairs. Now, when we first moved in, it was agreed there'd be no smoking upstairs inside. Okay, mm -hmm. so, are there any suggestions as to what we should do? Should we change smoke the outside. rules? Total yeah. smoke outside? What happens if it's raining? Can't we go and sit in the corner over there? And if it's raining, the you can go out there. Okay, it's dry out there. Not yeah, sure. Now, the other thing is, the I am currently a researcher on the Andrew Denton Breakfast Show. Uh, the role of living here was offered to someone else. I remember the meeting very well. And I haven't told anyone else this, but it was like he actually said no immediately. And at that moment, it was like the sky opened up and this big hand came down and went, all right, you want an opportunity. Here it is, even though I didn't tell anyone it worked that. So I um, actually just said, I'll do it. And everyone sort of was like, and then they turned around and went, really? And I said, yeah, I'll do it. I'll, I'll move in. So here I am. <laughs> Yeah, what she does is she sort of does a bit of spying on us, so if we sort of let a few things slip, how we're feeling and that, she just rings up Triple M straight away and then that's it. Everyone knows how we're feeling, but that's her job, so let her go for it. I really don't care. We hoped that, um, that they would spark off each other, so we didn't want a happy family at all. That's all you want, for the money you want to pay your tax, you don't pay your tax. Yeah, yeah okay, you know. I'm here the one that I asked you the other night and I said, you pay your tax, you go, no. Nah.
Yeah. 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 So what, so you'll be voting there because you, you got yourself there. Right? No, you'll be voting there because your parents got themselves there. Yeah, so. and I'm yeah. staying there. I'll do yeah. that. You come out where you live. Okay, then. Cool. Yeah. That's good. Well, I met Sandy the very first day that we actually went in for an interview, and she certainly stood out in a crowd. She never shuts up. Um, and she likes to be the centre of attention, so that was fine. You know, I normally do too in my own crowd, but she was with people she didn't even know, and she was just talking non-stop. Um, so then after that I didn't meet everyone until two days before we moved in and I guess I, I approached them all with a bit of apprehension not knowing what to expect until we actually moved in. And we're round. I'm going to do another interview now. Here's the people from Channel Of course the whole idea of putting six in a fix for three months of public torture caused a media flurry. These people are about to become flatmates, but not by choice. They've been thrown together as part of a bizarre social experiment, which will have them under 24-hour media surveillance. They've all done a psych test. Um, they had to be mad to do this, but not totally mad. This house in suburban Sydney is the latest fly-on-the-wall address, the creation of Triple M radio announcer Andrew Denton, who selected six of the most incompatible people he could find to live here for three months, all under the eyes of the World Wide Web. <laughs> I mean, how would you feel under internet cameras day and night? Four of them, with microphones in the lounge and kitchen areas. Every little whisper echoing around the world. Maybe a million big brothers and sisters watching every move you make. The sort of thing calculated to give anyone a nightmare. A nightmare. A nightmare. <laughs> I can't get away from the video camera today. It's like really attracted to me. Well, you can't get away from it anyway because the camera is now oh, there. Oh. <laughs> is this time for artistic capacity with the camera now? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I feel so pretty today, here in luck. So you've got the camera in here all the time now. Is this affecting you? Well, I get this strange feeling that I'm being watched. <laughs> oh, really? But that's the price of fame and fortune. And all that lust for the loot seems to have stripped away their inhibitions. Oh! including the naughty bits, and it looks like we might be coming up with a pair, Lee and Joss. Joss, I've been working a bit hard today by the looks of it. 
Lee and I run the puppy, Rolly Polly. What, what can I say? What more do you want? <laughs> If you'd like to watch, then check this out. The All-Australian, All-Channel 10 Outtake Files. <laughs> the Yo Change. <laughs> like colour bars on the television. Oh, and they move. <laughs> and here's my new leader once again. <laughs> what, you want to see more? Then you'll just have to watch the 10 Outtake Files, 6.30 Sunday. Need something for your garden? Well, for this Friday and Saturday, there's 15% off plants and garden accessories in the sale at Kmart. We think 15% off is just what you need. I remember being in the sun every chance I got, not realising most wrinkles are caused by sun damage. But now you can visibly reduce the signs of sun damage with Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Wrinkle Cream. The penetrating action of retinol firms and smooths the appearance of wrinkles and age spots, leaving your skin looking firmer, younger, healthier. Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Wrinkle Cream. Recommended by dermatologists around the world. I've got it, Kate, I've got it. It's all up here, mate. What's that, Tim? The great Hyundai sale. XL Sprint 13990 drive away with free air and now with free power steering. Lancers from 19990 drive away with free air plus $1,000 factory cashback. That's smart, Tim, but uh, there is an auto queue. What if there's a blackout? The great Hyundai sale. Great deals on XLs and Lantras. Simply smarter cars, simply smarter prices. Time with me. Yes. The world premiere, the day of the roses, soon on ten. True. I think we all need um sex. <laughs> Basically, let's say it. <laughs> I think we all need sex because um, if you don't have sex, there's a lot of frustration in the air and we're all stuck together for the last tension. 14 days and no one has had anything, so there'd be a lot of tension inside our bodies. I must admit, I, I'm normally uh, partial to sex myself, I guess. Jeez, I hate my wife doesn't see this. Um, but being a bit older, I guess I knew that that was going to happen and I see my wife you know, every day of the week anyway, whereas a couple of the younger guys, or the other two younger guys, might find it just that little bit more difficult, I think. Especially if you hear them talk the way they do. Rocky, no, sorry, Cal, do. Remember, this is supposed to be my position. As you can <laughs> see, there is also controversy in the house about who's sleeping with Josh. <laughs> right, Rob, do. the other side of the game, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Hell dude's uh, number one and Hell dude's number six. I think Lee thinks he's got some sparks going with Jocelyn, but I don't think they're going to be returned. Oh, just a little uh, sits on the lounge, or when they sit on the lounge, there might be a rub of the feet or uh, a quick neck massage, and uh, they'll often lie on the couch together quite innocently, but nevertheless, it's, it's still there. And I have, I must admit, I have heard him say that he wouldn't mind being with her, and you can take that as how you please. 
Yeah. He's such a wonderful person. Deep down inside, like, you know, he's got so many good qualities. I really do like him. <laughs> Rod Puppy, Rolly Polly, what more can I say? What more do you want? <laughs> Well, it's probably better if they do get together because if something happens, one of them might leave, you know, and then that's more money for me. Oh, hey. So, you're going to put it out for Lee or what? Well, thanks, no. but no thanks. So, when it comes to a drought, the boys know what to do. They hit the bottle. Okay, would you, um, hold on. Would you like, um, they're all empty. Would you like to have a schooner of red wine? I'm sure we have somebody in the kitchen somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a schooner of red wine? I'm sure there must be some up on the mantelpiece. <laughs> Just stay where you are. I will retrieve some for you. Here is red wine. <laughs> Do you have a schooner glass available at <laughs> this? <laughs> Being, yeah, I will talk your glass. <laughs> They've kept up, up so many nights, just like getting on it and in the red wine, and, you know, coming into us with um a big torch and video cameras. And one night I woke up, it was like this big, big um, light in my face and a video camera. Good morning. Oh. Listen, uh, we have someone to speak to you at this very um, second, and it's him. Him here. Ask some questions to her. Please ask some questions to her. And hurry up about it. Go away! <laughs> OK, well, this it is. Come down and drink a schooner of wine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sandy, um, why are you comfortable in your bed tonight, then? Because you guys aren't in it. <laughs> Lee and Andrew bombarded us with my dolphin torch and the camera at, what, 3.30, 4 o'clock? Yes. And, and Lee accidentally smacked me in the head with the camera as well. <laughs> right, okay. Now, are you comfortable in your bed tonight, Sandy? <laughs> Sandy, is this vibration uh, like yours or is this mechanical? <laughs> it's making them laughing so hard. No, you're not. I think it's a mechanical thing. It must be under the quilt somewhere there. I don't know what you're doing, but like anyway, we're going to leave you to it. Good night. <laughs> anyway, do you, do you want a skin of red wine or what? <laughs> Okay, so they're not the romantic types, but they're all fired up to make an impression one way or another. Didn't work, didn't work. We'll come back in an hour. That was hilarious that other night, wasn't it? Yeah. It probably doesn't even look funny to anyone else. But yeah, like, when that's what I said. They, they probably won't even laugh. No. What the boys didn't know is that they're already being fooled by experts. Sandra, her and I are getting on extremely well. We're, um, we're playing pranks on most of the house. OK, we've got a mobile phone hidden in our bedroom. Um, we're ringing the house at all hours of the night. Her and I are up in the bedroom on the bed, just in hysterics. Um, we have to make... <laughs> The giggles now. We have to make Drew, who's sleeping downstairs, um, get up, answer the phone. We're doing this at two, three, four in the morning. We're setting our alarm specifically for it. I got to bed at ten o'clock or something, and then someone rang up at like three thirty in the morning, and just um, kept, I kept just sort of walking past the camera, sticking my finger up because I knew Triple M was watching. So um, kept doing that. And they did it like three times to me, then left me alone. We've had our revenge, I think, and they've still got no idea it's us. Well, up until now, we haven't got any sleep, basically. Um, but last night, we thought, oh, well, if Denon's going to hit us hard in the morning, we thought, well, we better get into some sleep now, you know? I'm so scared about tomorrow. It's, it's actually really frightening me. <laughs> and what the girls don't know, and some of the boys, is that the knives are out, along with every other item of cutlery. In the house from house from
This sports report brought to you by Portfolio from St George. Good evening, Bill Woods with the latest in sport. Pat Rafter's hopes of a world number one ranking have been delayed as he becomes a first round loser at the Swiss Open. Richmond's Wayne Campbell threatens to stand down from football after the Tigers refuse to trade him, while Sydney Ruckman Brett O'Farrell moves to Hawthorne. And kickboxing goes glam in Thailand. Women make their debut in the toughest of sports. We'll have all these stories plus the latest cricket scores from Pakistan coming up in Sports Tonight. It's no sir. From 26,990, Subaru all-wheel drive, designed for life. Lovely things for your feet, lovely things for your legs. Lovely things for your eyes and ears, lovely things for your mouth. Ooh. Winter garden, winter garden, winter garden. Lovely things for your house as well. Left arm. Rexona for men has more active power to keep you dry all day long. No alcohol, no stinging. Rexona for men. It never lets you down. What's hot on video? From the author of Jurassic Park and Academy Award winning director Barry Levinson comes Sphere. Dustin Hoffman, Sharon Stone and Samuel L. Jackson travel on this terrifying voyage of discovery to uncover the secrets of a 300-year-old crashed spacecraft lying at the bottom of the Pacific. You're not alone out there. 40 yards, move, move, move! I'm not going to die down here. Sphere. Grab it on video. Like to cut your household insurance bill down to size? RACQ GIO have very competitive premiums and you can pay by the month. So for more affordable home or contents insurance, call RACQ GIO on 13 1905. Chop, chop. A beautiful heiress is missing. There's a $50,000 reward. And only one man can find her. Unfortunately, they sent two. You can't even have breakfast without hurting yourself. For the first hilarious time on network television. Did you hear that picture of Valerie? <laughs> Lethal Weapons' Danny Glover. Don't shoot! Oh! And Martin Short. Break your neck! From the director of The Big Steel and Malcolm. Oh, there's no quicksand in Mexico. Gradually, because I just discovered something. Pure Luck, 8 to Sunday on 10. In the house! house. Yeah. It's the second Monday morning, and all hell is about to break loose. All right, now, Toxie, you're in the hallway. Be careful of that hallway, Toxie. It's completely ordinary and nothing happens in there. For our hellmates, the good life is about to go out the window. Sandy's just come down the stairs. Sandy's Sandy, you're supposed to be naked. <laughs> <laughs> Along with every eating utensil, that's Toxie, Radio Triple M's henchman. Stealing the cutlery is pretty well guaranteed to put the meaning back into finger food. Don't have to make any noise because they're all sleeping peacefully, so... Yeah, that's right. Just tip it into that basket. Every piece of cutlery, please, Toxie. We don't want any left in the house for this week. Cutlery is far too much of a luxury for these people. They, of course, uh, claimed last week it was the house from heaven. We're about to change the conditions a little bit today. Mm -hmm. This is just the start of it. You got everything there, Toxie? Here we go. OK. Party is bloody hilarious. Hold it up. <laughs> because they gave us all that cutlery from us, I have this, but I don't think anyone in the house will be using it. So they don't pay me money. There we go. Look, here's TJ eating a toast. She's the only one in the house with cutlery left. Uh -huh. Right. So I got to spread the on her. On. And I got to stir my Milo. I'm starting to trip out doing this. <laughs> you got the camera working. 
I just want to see what. Started off with my bridal chopsticks. Finished off with plastic air. No, Mountain Franklin water bottle. And is the heat affecting the plastic at all? No, it seems to be holding up quite well. I made my coffee with it earlier as well. And it seems to be quite quite um, useful. Versatile. So you're not worried about this no cutlery thing at all? No, no, not at all. And if I couldn't use any of this, I would just use my hands anyway. Bring it on. Bring it on? No worries. With a new diet of just SBS on the tube and baked beans, prunes and ice cream on the table, it's what you might call an explosive situation. Like a bottle opener. Oh, this will do. Halfway there now. Yeah, he's having two. Is that all we want? And you open your own can, if you can. This is not... Now, look at that. Isn't that just such a best thing? What, what can I do tonight? What can I do with having? it? Now, look at this. Jesus Christ. What's going on? Dinner is served. Well, that's not that bad. What are they like? What are they? What are prunes? Just like plums. That's all. Could be. Some sort of a yeah. How are we going to have, we're going to have, like, the baked beans with the prunes at the same time, or baked beans, then no, prunes, then ice cream? Put them in a bowl. How do I know where the bowl is? One tenant gets to call the dial-in gourmet. <laughs> no prizes for guessing who that is. Mmm, mmm. King prawns with baby corn and mushrooms. So how did you have your eggs? Oh, God, Yep. Four dim sims. <laughs> Pick it up. <laughs> Alright, let's go. TJ! That's what we thought last week, you see. We thought, like, um, we thought, oh, no, this is an house. Right. This is alright. This, you know, we're just getting into it, sort of. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, it's just like, <laughs> shit's hit the fan. Goes on till next Monday morning as well. We've got to eat prunes and beets till next Monday morning. We've got to eat it tonight as well, because if we don't eat it, we start, well, if we get fine, then we starve, basically. It's terrible, isn't it? <laughs> It's meant to be the cutlery bothers me more than eating baked beans and ice cream and prunes at night time. Um, but like you get over it after a while, you just accept it. I'm not sort of person that would make a fuss over anything like that anyway. I would just go along with what happens. Who likes coffee? Just a minute. What is it? Delivery. Ah, oh, cheers. How are you, buddy? Good, thank you. Uh... Can I have a receipt? Yeah. Oh, thanks. Nineteen twenty. I haven't got any more. Sorry. Is that everything? Uh, yeah, everything. Can I ask your friend to get a twenty dollar? Yes. Uh... Are you got anything more? No, that's it. Oh gosh, I'm a bit yeah. over those things. Let me check. That service is dead good. <laughs> <laughs> this is better than watching SBS, everyone. Come have a look. I can't come out, I've only got socks on. And I can't let you keep the change, sorry, mate. We thought our ingenious idea was ingenious, but it hasn't. The spoon was melted. <laughs> right, we're going to have to think of another idea. Why did you just put that in there, just send it went just like that? Just to mix it up, yeah, it just went told. No. Thanks, mate. Here, here, I got, I got this cream. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can spread with that. These, look, these don't melt. If you can make, I had, yeah, they do. No, they don't. I used one today and it melted. I used one today. But well, you got to use this. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to make glass spoons. Oh, will that melt? I don't want creamy out of it. <laughs> Hand cream for dinner. <laughs> Um, dim oh, sims and king prawns with something like that. I'm just trying to work out how I'm going to eat this. Baby corn. I don't want them to get through this easily. And, and the reason I don't is because the well, challenge does bring out people's coping mechanisms, which is really indicative of who they are and what they think of the world. I mean, if you're an optimist, you think you can get through anything and you just do it and plough through it and deal with it. Whereas if you're a victim, you think that Triple M's picking on you and they're bastards and they never said it was going to be like this and where is this in the rules and, you know, and, and stuff like that. And I, I find that hilarious, actually. Everything no, but, like, if you're going to have a We all talked about it. Yeah, but, like, today they said, OK, you got to eat everything that's on the table. But we all talked about it before. I wasn't there then. Then you should have asked. Oh, I wasn't. In the unlikely event that you ever get stranded with five other lunatics on a diet of beans and prunes, yeah. take cover. <laughs> Be sure to be fabulous. Oh yeah, Joss did a big fart. That's not all that's moving. 
quickly. My bowels are moving. And can you believe these movements as the Hellmates perform the Nutcracker Switch? <laughs> Peter O'Brien, Paul Mercurio, and Rebecca Gibney. We don't leave our patients. That's right, sir. One of the finest casts ever assembled. You're supposed to be the expert on how things are done, but you've got no idea. The true story, The Day of the Roses, coming soon to 10. Hello, Vodafone 123. Yeah, is this a number I call for street directions through Connect Weather Check? It is. No, 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 I don't need any help. Just wanted to make sure that it, this is the right number. Australian laundromats can be scary. For any network Vodafone service or help with your mobile, simply dial Vodafone 123. Yeah, Vodafone 123. Can I mix colours with whites in a cold wash? Network Vodafone. Oh, yeah. You seen Christopher Skate? Huh? Christopher Skate, um, big tall guy, probably had like a respirator, big bag full of money. Oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> Luxury card. Oh, up this slippery bit. It's a bit, slip, it's a bit slippery, just like Christopher Skase, I'll tell you. Shh, shh, disabled sticker, got to be Skase. Reckon that caravan right there. Skase! Ah, open window. I can hear him, I can hear Wheezy. Chris, Chris, are you there? Chris! Christopher Skase, this one's for you. New two-in-one Maxi Bond for those who like to bite off more than they can chew. Spend a little time with... Floods in China have forced manufacturers to quit water-damaged rugs. Rugs a million have scooped entire container loads and imported them direct. At 67% off, look at these superb pure wool rugs. This is a water-damaged rug. Mark on the back, so out for $2.99. That's $661 off. And these, yes, pure wool too, a phenomenal $29. Hurry into these rugs a million stores. They call them water-damaged at 67% off. I call them an absolute bargain. With even more power and equipment, the 1999 Subaru Forester makes for a more enjoyable, dirty weekend. It's a Monday morning and it's just coming up to us. Forester from 26990. Subaru All Wheel Drive. Designed for life. We know there's something out there. Steven Spielberg's revised masterpiece. Are you ready for a close encounter? of a special kind. You can make contact. 8.30 Friday, here on 10. In the house from, house from Um, I had a bit of a secret told to me by Big Daddy tonight, and this is another one of the show-offs in the house. Um, we're having a, a ballerina, as far as I can tell, but a dancing teacher come to. Gives a few um, dance exercises in the morning, which I think will be a huge giggle. It's much better than the boxing man this morning. My arm is killing me. Big Daddy's running around to me. Kelly, have you got some tights? I want to dress up like a ballerina. Don't tell anyone. We're all a bunch of show-offs. Well, it's been a long eight days. Missing the wife and the kids. Hey, Colin. But I'm here for a job and I'm going to do it. We can't see you. I don't care what anyone else does. I don't care what Denton does. I don't care what the people in the house do. Up here, tilt the camera. I'm going to get the money. Minimum oh, five Sorry, dollars. it's only his first time with a camera. The girls are starting to struggle. The dog and Sandy. So, we'll take their money. Simple as that. As you can see, the, the boys must have got restless last night. And for some reason, there's a set of skis and a mining board. Also, I'm messaging beer bottles. Help us. That was a dog and a training lady. Maybe with the help of our head, we're going to get them out of here. They've got to go. I'm pretty sure that we're going to have to see somebody else. I think I hear movement upstairs. Um, look who it is. It's a little old triple M plant. Has never seen it up here yet. She has no idea. Oh, yes, yeah, she finally just saw it. 
is over bad to happen. Let's capture these classic moments as the triple M plant unlocks the door. Don't try to be surprised. Oh, it's rain. Oh, rain, very good. She's not only here for the eight days. I can hear knocking on the floor. Oh. Tim Bailey, look at her. She's a meteorologist in the making. I thought it was Jim Brem, and it's rain. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> See what we have to put up with? <laughs> oh, shit. You see the garbage bin in the middle of the kitchen. 6.15. All as well. I might go up and... Oh, shit, I just hit the chair then. Christ. Might go up and see what's happening. Oh, sorry, I thought I didn't rain to the stage. Good morning. I did really. <laughs> it's my first time with the camera. What are you doing up so early? Ah, oh, just wanted to see you. Mm. Bye. This is the boys' room. It is just like home. No. There's Lisa Git. Good morning. <laughs> Go on again. Huh? I'm narrating. Don't interrupt. As you may have noticed, I miss one room. Couldn't be bothered. They're pain in the ass. Here comes our surprise for the morning. Hey, bitch. Hey. We gotta dance. No. Come on. Get up and dance, woman. The cheeks are here. Okay. <laughs> I just want my tutu. starting to look like Sandy might actually get on with the guys. Another disaster. Sandy's boyfriend of four years calls with the news. She's dumped. Tell me the news. We disagree a lot now. He said that's it. So you're dumped. So I'm dumped. Yes, you're dumped. We've got a happy oh. cake for you in the oven. Yeah, we've got a happy, happy cake. cake. Happy cake. cake. And some, and and some homely steaks. What the f*** me? I wait till after two weeks. I'll be stronger. Don't keep me mm. now with it. Now we you can rock on. on. It's a bit hard doing that with fans, too. Yeah, and with a house full of strangers. Face to face. Me being emotional yeah. with you guys, because, hey, I, the way I see you guys as a family, because I'm living with you for the next three months, but I think we all pretty yeah, much get on. I'm probably one of the most honest people in the house. Good crazy, is good for you. Yeah, I am always an emotional person, especially when I've got my periods. It's really screwed up. But, I, you know what, it's like, you always gotta, you always got to be tougher each time you're I've only had, like, two or three boyfriends, and it was like, <laughs> those ones screwed me up. He was a really nice guy. Shut up. I'll handle it if they do get Will worse. Sandy leave? Uh, I don't know how I'll handle it. I'll probably... I don't know. I could leave. I could leave. Coming up, has the house from hell claimed an early victim? House from or will a bitch hell. save the day? In the house from hell. Up next in TEN's late news, the Aussie dollar, its dramatic surge heralding possible interest rate cuts. The power crisis continues but moves to Queensland. As Victoria begins burning again, Brisbane faces blackouts. Also tonight, Cheryl Kernow claws her way back. Jeff and Felicity Kennett reunite. The subs that are duds our Navy's $5 billion blunder. 15 years after catching the last train out of Sydney, Cole Chisel hit the road one more time. And the marvellous margarine, that's spreading healthy news.
lipstick this summer. What's new? Style with lipstick. The versatile fashion shoe on everyone's lips. From as little as $49.95 at Mathers for Shoes and Williams the Shoe Men. Check them out. Extra, extra! Get free Manchester extras with every Sealy or Sleepmaker mattress and base set. Free quilt, quilt cover, fitted sheet, pillows and pillowcases. Free Manchester extras. Another reason to choose news. When life in this world is over... You died, Chris. One man will search beyond heaven and hell. I need Annie. You never see her. To find the love he left behind. I'm her soulmate. I can find her. Robin Williams. It's about gut giving up. Cuba Gooding Jr. and Annabella Sciorra. What dreams may come. I'm still here, babe. You still exist. Starts Thursday in cinemas everywhere. Maybelline asks, what are the smartest lips saying this season? Pro Vitamin A. Vitamin E. Major Moisture. New Moisture Whip Lipstick from Maybelline. The latest to drool for colors. Drenched with 40% moisturizers. Now zapped with Lip Perfecting Pro Vitamin A. For smooth, supple, saucy lips. In all the rage shades. Now you're talking traffic stopping lips. New Moisture Whip Lipstick from Maybelline. Maybe she's born with it. Well, Sandy is nice until she gets a bit drunk, I think. And she just gets a bit obnoxious and cheeky towards people. And it's, it's not a very nice thing she was doing. She was saying some nasty things to people, which I think upset the household. I think that's why it all went a bit pear-shaped. <laughs> but I love my drink, so, yeah. So, sort of, you never know. A couple of things might come out when I've had a few drinks with them. I might never know. I might play a few more tricks. That's when I get all the thoughts in my head is when I've had a few. <laughs> I'm thinking about maybe um, doing a few little tricks on Jaws with the chicken, to the chicken, because um, I got my, you know, just uh, there is jealousy there with the chicken. Like she's got a chicken here for three months, and I don't have my dog here for three months. So I've thought of a few little jokes to do to uh, Jaws. Whether they come out, I don't know yet. Um, but it is very funny. We might get, a, I might get a friend of mine to um, kidnap the chicken at night and keep it for three months, and then ring her up after three months and say, "Hey, Jaws, well, listen to what I got for you," and ring its neck. So it goes. Rah! Sandy thinks she's just being cute. And I think with Andrew, he might get some salt in his bed. But Drew doesn't see it that way. Get the camera on this, because I want to talk, all right? OK, come on. Now, the first thing, right? Yeah. OK. Now, we had a fight in the first place. Yeah. I said, uh, yeah. I said, if you mess with me again, I will beat you, OK? Now, as far as I'm concerned, I can yeah. beat you, I can beat you no matter what. Hell hasn't started if you want it that way. I'm cool to cruise, I don't give a you can do what you want, do this, do that, I don't care. But if you pick on me again, try to try to be a smart ass, try to do anything, I'll send you mentally insane. Okay, because I've done that. I did that to my stepfather. No, what I'm saying is, what have I really done to you? I, I can get on. I mean, I mean, we, I mean, we got on. I mean, I looked, I looked at videos the other day, and we we're all getting on. We were getting way. on. Okay, well, I mean, no, but I'd like to be fine with you because I don't like. I mean, I've never had people dislike me, so this is really weird for me, and I don't even really. I mean, I, I don't know if I'm even approaching this fight, Andrew. I don't care. You can go about your own way. I know I can't you go about can my own way. But I like to get on with everyone. It doesn't bother me. Okay? It doesn't bother you can me come either. Down, have a talk. I don't care. But if you start messing, if you. No, but if that's you like you with me. If you start messing with all, me, the same will go. All I'm saying be... is, would you like to be friends? Yeah, whatever. Would you like to be friends? Whatever. I don't care. Whatever. Okay, then we'll look at that. It doesn't bother me. That's fine, Andrew. Because all I'm saying is, I want to be friends with you, but you keep on saying, keep on beating around, there's a bush in the middle. I'm the bush in the middle saying, would you like to be friends? You, are, you, are you come down around. and go, you come down and go skits, and then you come down later skits. on and then... The... You, you're the one that aggravates me. I mean, I don't care. I'm not aggravating I'm anyone else. I really don't care, Andrew. I'm not aggravating anyone else in this house except you for some reason. I don't I mean, know why. I mean, hey, I like everyone. Don't you think everyone should like everyone too? It's meant to be a happy world. Yeah? Not a problem. See, she's still mentally insane. Did you notice me? I'd like to be your friend, and if you don't want to be my friend, just tell me. You, you burnt bridges a long time ago. I don't burn any bridges, Andrew, because everyone screws me over. Nobody screws anyone over for no reason. Then this morning I woke up on you, I thought... Things start going from bad to worse. Um, through Andrew and Joss. Remember, these aren't actors. They're real people with real emotions. Yeah, that was a really bitch. I don't even care if I was on 
piss on me. I wouldn't care less what he said. Then you don't get someone like that. I get through it, I get through it if I don't. I don't, as long as I can keep my own sanity, as long as I can be strong. And I don't have a breakdown on my way out of here or something like that. That's all. I speak to Sandy um, quite um, a few times, and she seems like she's having a very hard time. She seems quite confident that she can last if she really wants to. But at the same time, I don't see her as coping very well at all, particularly with um, the fact that she's um, gone too far for the boys to forgive her for being so mean to them and vindictive. Um, so I think that perhaps she might not last the distance like she thinks she can. Hi, well, thanks, Andrew. Hi, Amanda. We know it's been tough for you, Sandy, and, and that's why we're going to do something nice for you today. And uh, here's the first one. Why don't you walk to the front door with Togsy, Sandy? He's There's a new plan. Cheer up Sandy, and at the same time, make the others jealous. There you go, reunited with your doggy. Zappa, Zappa, What's your dog's name? Zappa, Zappa. It's Zappa, I love my dog. Oh, oh she's no. crying, Andrew. It's a beautiful moment. Oh, oh Sandy. Oh. 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 I'm so happy. Sandy. A very special moment right I'm here. I'm so happy, Andrew and Amanda. Thank you for... Oh, it's our oh, pleasure. Okay, Togsy, <laughs> take the dog away now. She's oh, seen that's her. enough. You've Give got, it back now. You've got Zappa for the whole day, Sandy, today. Oh, thank you I can't so get the dog much. away. Oh, oh, there you go. Thank you. And Sandy, the only rule yeah. is the dog's not allowed to eat the chicken before four o'clock, okay? Can she eat it after four? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Can she really? Well, that's between you members of the house. It's not for me to say. Oh, thank you two so much. There oh, you go, just Sandy. made me so happy. Oh, it's changed your day a bit, has oh. it? Oh, it's just so beautiful. It's a treat just for you. I hope uh, I hope Zappa gets on with the other members of the household. And Sandy, you take care now. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, Amanda. We'll talk to you later. The Triple okay. M should protect a house from hell. We'll be crossing to it throughout the day. You're listening to Triple M. Oh, that's so good. Better be in the house. Yeah, do you have to have a look back? Yeah, I know, right? That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that. Or something? And she gets a dog? Yeah, oh, yeah. What do I get? You get absolutely nothing, Drew. But Sandy doesn't know she's part of a bigger plan, which also includes a treat 20 minutes away from the house from hell. To me, I'm finding it really hard. I thought maybe I might walk, but now that I have my dog here today, I think my strength will sort of be really risen to the sky. What could I say Five minutes. I feel good now. I feel really good. Now I'm not going to be a mean person. I'm entering the house again. Hello. 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 You're back now. Now, Liz, I've come to the conclusion that this house does smell. I know. <laughs> the house does smell everybody. Oh, she's back. She's yeah. back. Denton's evil plan works. Sandy's on cloud nine, but the others still think she's on the nose. Next time in the house from hell, a blonde blind date lands Lee in the meat market. Oh, Jared! <laughs>
The house gets new rules, including the unthinkable no alcohol. What's in that, Sandy? Don't lie to me ever again. Don't lie to me ever again. That's alcohol. And the house isn't at all happy about Sandy. Everyone's playing by the rules except one person. Four. Have luck. Bye. Hopefully. Bye, Sandy. Bye. Easy. Spending three months living rent free with six people you don't even know. Sunday, somewhere on the Mexican Riviera, a beautiful heiress is missing. Only one man can find her, but unfortunately, they sent two. Martin Short and Danny Glover star in the hilarious network premiere of Pure Luck. 8.30 Sunday on 10. And coming up next, all the latest in 10 News. Uncompromising mystery. Marty. It all began with a proposition. A stranger asked me to shoot him dead. I'd like you to shoot me dead. It had the wrong man, but I had a scoop. I'm Fletch. This is my story. This program brought to you by Holden Dealer's biggest ever quality used car sale. House from Hell is classified M and is recommended for viewing by mature audiences. It contains some coarse language, nudity, and sexual references. Good morning, this is the Andrew Dental Breakfast Show on the Audio Triple M, and we're looking for six unusual people willing to share one house for three months. We call it the House from Hell. And you thought it would be okay. easy, spending three months living rent free with six people. six misfits trying to survive three months in the house from hell have laid bare their uh, souls. Drowned their many sorrows. <laughs> created more than a few sparks. And established an open line of communication. Get the camera on this. I want to talk, all right? Now, we had a fight in the first place, yeah. I said... Uh, yeah. In just seven days, Cole Beggs, the furniture salesman, has been nicknamed Big Daddy C because he likes to rule the roost. OK. Lee, the Scottish gish, is everyone's friend. Simply because, well, with his accent, they can't understand his insults. Yeah, that's fine, but I think what we've got to look at is... Joss, the uni student, is all-round favourite, especially with the boys. A sheep with no legs. <laughs> Not a clown. Everyone's been on it. Kelly, the lesbian, is dreading going back to work after this first two-week lock-in. Her workmates only learned over the radio that she's gay. Don't care, really. Oh, Drew, the landlocked surfy, is looking for some action. <laughs> Any oh, yeah, sort of action. Yeah, no, some stuff. Well, actually, I thought that, as I said before, I thought the competition was going to be a lot harder than this. They haven't done anything to us yet. So I can't wait for them to bring it on on board when they're doing nothing. And they all hate Sandy, the former exotic dancer and fanatical cleaner. And they've only been here a week. <laughs> they've still got one more week locked in together and two and a half months of household hell after that if they want to pick up their $5,000 a piece in survival money. But it's not going to be easy. There are nasty new rules every day and big fines for anyone who breaks them and they lose the lot if they skip out. 
Well, under that sort of pressure, it's no wonder they forget they're on camera. Their every move beamed to 5,000 internet users a day. Young Joss always seems to be getting caught out. You have to think twice though with the internet in your room, like it's only been there for a little while and already it's caught me out a few times, like just walking straight in from the bathroom and stuff. But it doesn't really bother me a lot. You just have to remember that people are watching you, but you know, wherever you are and whatever you do, someone's watching you anyway. So. Mm, maybe our human lab rats have forgotten they're being watched. What is going on under the covers between Joss and Lee? Maybe Lee wanted to show her the ball that he'd earlier stashed down his dax. It obviously failed to hold her attention because Joss opted to leave him sleeping while she walked all over Drew, who just happened to be lying beside the bed. Oops, I think Lee's jealous. If you think that's weird, look what happens when the rules are changed. Each housemate is now allowed to take turns in having their friends over on a Tuesday night. The male members of the house from hell, Colin, Drew and Lee, were hoping their mates would help drive out their least favourite flatmate, Sandy. But Sandy headed off any resentment by revealing some hidden charms. And when it comes to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat with stirrers, she can come to grips with almost any situation. These boys just don't party hard enough for Sandy. is now running on pure alcohol, but the party's nearly over, leaving only that empty, empty feeling. People living together in a funny little dump in Narrenburn for three long months. What we want to see from now on are the cans and the bottles. We want that as hard evidence of the amount of grog you are consuming. All cans and bottles from here on in are to be stacked in the dining room. And it will fill the dining room. Can you believe it? The Hellmates have gone through 17 cases in a week. That's uh, 17 times 24. Oh, crikey, that's 11 stubbies a day each. Oh, no wonder they're staggered by a diabolical new house rule. Let me just get some cereal. I just can't believe there's no chewy here, so all water. I love seeing you guys so well. Don't try not without beer. I can't survive without peanut butter. I can't survive without real tea bags. All right, we so can all survive without beer and alcohol of some sort. That's not that long. specifically. Tough, Cole. No grog and only each other for entertainment. House rule 13. Only boring activities for another seven days of lock-in. Only a twisted mind could have thought of this. A visit from a real politician with Australia's most boring laws about building permits. An application that is withdrawn is taken for the purpose of the Act, Section 79, Subsection 6 of the Act, and Clause 65, Ooh, Subsection Ooh, the pain. 9. And worse, Triple M has sent its roving DJ, Jason the Ripper, with a ripper of a tease. A bottle of brew they can smell but can't touch. TJ reckons he's amusing us, but he came in and he's not. He's amusing himself more than anything. 
brought his own beer. He brought his own beer just to tease us. I'm not allowed to zoom in because it's a digital camera and we're not allowed to. If you touch that again, I'm going to bust your ass. <laughs> You're not allowed to touch beer, I told you. But without TV or booze, any distraction seems exciting. Right, that was well timed, that. Is the keys in the door? Hi. I'll get the keys. We have a visitor. Who's, who's there? Keys! Notice that TJ the Minder has turned jailer. She carries the keys at all times to prevent escape. But this time, it's the visitor that got away. Uh, hang on, for people with nothing to do and nothing to drink, their spirits oh, seem unusually day, high. One more day of, um, Is somebody cheating? We know it. Yeah. Sandy and Kel to seem to have exactly. a secret <laughs> supply of something <laughs> that's made them a little silly. <laughs> this one's naughty, I love her. Bad influence. <laughs> and we've been giving the house prank phone calls all night. <laughs> Sandy stuck a mo snuck a mobile in here. <laughs> and we've been ringing up. And he's stressing out. Not knowing who it is. We've been up in the room in hysterics. Hmm, wonder if tomorrow morning's hell stunt will drum some sense back into the. This is a 10 News update. Good evening, Sandra Sully with the latest from the 10 News Centre and Federal Police are pulling apart the ship involved in the huge heroin bust in a search for more drugs. Also tonight, the axe-wielding bandits daring daylight jewel heist, escaping with gold chains and diamonds. Fears hot weather in Queensland could push their power supply to the limit, causing massive blackouts. The controversial close shave, fit for a prince, and the ultimate four-wheel drive accessory, spray on mud. Details tonight, late news. And we're live at the Indy for sports tonight. Coming up, Australian captain Mark Taylor returns to form with a slashing century against Pakistan, the 19th of his career. After a nervous start, Taylor and Justin Langer build a record partnership. And the glamour and the glitz at IndyCar right here on the Gold Coast. We go behind the scenes to see what makes these superstars of the track tick. Also tonight, we'll speak with tennis legend Bjorn Borg. Don't miss it. Sports tonight. We're live from Pit Lane for the Honda Indy Carnival of 98. series event of the year. But this is not a bloody accident. This is a disaster. I've got a live one in here, male. Scotty, squeeze it. No one's going to leave you. Everybody out, it's coming down. Keep pulling. What was so special about this train that they would risk people's lives? You're supposed to be the expert on how things are done, but you've got no bloody idea. Why don't you tell me what's really going on with Granville? One of the finest casts ever assembled. I'll fight you to this no. I hope he says the train wasn't to blame. I hope he's damn well smart enough. One of the greatest tragedies of our time. I was all ahead. You haven't heard the full story until now. You don't realise what you've got yourself into. Ten's world premiere, The Day of the Roses, starts Sunday. In the house, 
wakey wakey, it's drumming day. 12 hours non-stop. Enough to send anyone around the twist. Well, it could be passable, except this lot are all trainees. The drums are affecting this girl. No, the views the whole scene. <laughs> because the background noise is just pretty standard like this anyway. <laughs> Similarly, the drums don't seem to be affecting this boy either. Mm. How's the drumming? Yeah, I have the bus, so I just switched off. It's cool. <laughs> mm. So you're not that worried about 12 hours of it? No, not 12 hours. It's affecting anybody else. Anybody else freaking out yet? They'd like you to think they're relaxed, but the lack of freedom, <laughs> decent food, not to mention cutlery, is having an effect. Only Tracy Jean, Triple M's in-house spy and mother figure, has had a night out. Watch the role reversal as her children turn on her. About half past five. I didn't want to ring you. You woke me up. You woke me up. I've been up all night worrying about you. Where have you been? Help. Half past five this morning. Two drinks. You are a disgrace. You've just been listening, haven't you? You didn't what? actually wake up, did you? Yeah. I got up just after you went to bed. <laughs> I was up about 20 to 6. What time do you want? About half past five, didn't you? How dare you? It's a bloody disgrace. <laughs> Dad or dud, TJ suspects that while Colin's playing angry father, he's really up to more sinister games. I don't know, I have a real feeling that he has the potential to get rid of everyone one by one. Because he keeps on, to me, counting himself as a group by himself. Um, he's got a little bit more experience in life and of people being in sales. Yeah, and I just, I just think that him living here for five grand doesn't make sense to me yet. So there's got to be something else. Mm. No privacy, no booze, no sleep. But the toughest for all six red-blooded people is the lack of intimate relations. Although we do have some suspicions. However, there is an upside, as Joss has discovered from being on the radio each day. I can't believe it, would you say? Yeah. I might get a boyfriend out of this experience. <laughs> At least you'll get a good ring. <laughs> Several, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Scary thought, isn't it? <laughs> Kelly the lesbian is also a bit of a stirrer and keen to discover if Lee and Joss really are getting it together. Hey, Lee, I love you. Won't you jump in my bed? No, I don't want to be someone else at the moment. <laughs> don't! Don't! No, I'm not. I've been feeling single. I, was, I have been for over a year now, a year and a half now. I'm quite happy being single at the moment, enjoying life. I just need to worry about myself and no one else at the time, you know. No sparks flying with anyone here? Well, me and Joss are... Yeah, like getting on well, but I mean, we've been flung into a social situation and the pressure's on, so we're not going to go any further than that. We're just going to like be friends for the time being and you see how it goes. Maybe when we come out, we may, may get together, you never know. We'll see what happens. Uh huh. And this from a guy who's been caught on internet camera in bed with Joss time and time again. Maybe he's saving himself for his radio fans who've nominated the Scottish Gift as the pick of this hellish litter. But like, um, there's one particular woman that's been calling up named Anne. She's five foot eleven or something, blonde hair, blue eyes, and she just keeps calling up Triple M solidly, saying she's madly in love with me on her hands and knees waiting on me. But I think she sounds like a bit of a lunatic, so <laughs> I, uh, I don't think I'll be sure that one. Triple M's given me her phone number and told me to call her, but I don't think I will, because she sounds a bit crazy if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. That's a good one, Lee. You can talk. All the contestants did psych tests. Kelly even taped hers for the record. Where are we here? 34. The pomp and splendour of any big state ceremony are things which should be preserved. I really don't understand this question. Let's just write uncertain. Well, there you go. 
keep your quaint. But it was Lee who came across as a bit of a weirdo. I wasn't present for the psych tests. Um, Lee came up with interesting results. He uh, misread the question on the last page and he thought it meant like if you're feeling suicidal how concerned would you be and so he kept on putting like really concerned about all these things hearing voices um violence towards other people all this kind of stuff and the funny thing is that uh, i was asked do, do you think he has that potential and i went yeah <laughs> everyone does of course he does so it's always the happy person in the house who ends up turning out the axe <laughs> so yeah hopefully not <laughs> Joss is the third year psych student and she secretly put all her housemates on the padded couch. <laughs> I think just very um, kooky and kinky, I think more than anything. Um, I, I regard him as quite an intimate friend. He's wrong. DJ's an awesome person. She's thrown in the middle of it all. She's a great mediator and, and very sensible. Just a little bit reserved about Sandy and wary of her. Um, thought that she was a little rough perhaps. Poor Sandy's not getting along with anyone, it seems. A little wonder. So, so Sandy, mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about yourself. OK, uh, I've got my own cleaning business. Yeah. Um, so I'm sort of running around cleaning people's houses these days. But I used to be an exotic dancer and a lingerie waitress. Um, so sort of just hanging in there. Now I'm going to sort of give all these people in this house hell. <laughs> yeah, and I'm going to try and get rid of them all. Well, Sandy might be in with a chance. But emotions are running over. And now their daily whinges are going live to air on Triple M. Everything was going quite cool. And then um, Sandy just basically pisses us all off. She butts in on everything. You, you don't have your own life in there. All she can do is palm things off to other people. She's just gone a little bit too far, I think. She wants to control everything and, and be the, the boss. And unfortunately, with the people that have been selected in that house, that's not the thing to do. She's a nasty, vindictive, self-centred, arrogant bitch. She sort of crossed the line and everyone's just gone, well, that's about it. With that sort of tension, Sandy's a human time bomb, and Colin's about to light the fuse. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's fine, you deny that. I'm but, dying. But that's it, we, we are finished because, as far as I'm concerned, you're cheating. Okay, fine. All right, now. In the house, we're all in the house. Hey, 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 this Friday and Saturday only. At your Holden dealer. Hay fever sufferers can sometimes go to extremes to avoid allergies because they've had the usual products without the relief they need. But now there's Zyrtec. Zyrtec works fast to relieve the immediate symptoms and Zyrtec works hard for full 24-hour control. Your pharmacist will advise you whether this preparation is suitable for your condition. With just one Zyrtec tablet a day, you can get on top of allergies and get on with life. A queen must choose. Marry me. Between the call of her heart. Do you know you are everything to me? And the claims of her throne. You cannot marry Lord Robert! Between the man she loves. I ask you to save some part of us! And the destiny that awaits her. Kate Blanchett and Academy Award winner Geoffrey Rush. Elizabeth. Starts Thursday, October 22nd. New Caniston once daily is the convenient treatment for the athlete's itch of tinea and other fungal conditions. It's so advanced, you only use Caniston once, daily. Okay, radio silence. The boss will send a message if necessary. Wider screen for longer messages. Alcatel One Touch Pocket. Be a touch ahead. One of the best kept anti wrinkle secrets is already in your skin. Skin's own coenzyme Q10. 
And now it's in this moisturizing cream. The more often you use it, the less wrinkles you'll see. It's up to you. Skin Zone Q10. Now in new anti wrinkle Q10 daycare from Nivea Visage. Hey, Fever. You don't need extremes to avoid allergies, you need fast acting Zerti. Your pharmacist will advise you whether this preparation is suitable for your condition. But with one Zyrtec tablet a day, you can get on top of allergies and get on with life. The 12th Annual Aria Music Awards, 8.30 Tuesday on tap. Carl's never really liked Sandy from the start, and a little sly grog in her room is all the ammunition he needs to ruin her day. I'm sorry, I don't have any drinking. I don't drink spirits, so I have a very sensitive nose for spirits, and I snort a cup of that there and it's full of spirits. Well, I'm not saying about the health, I'm not saying where it's anywhere. I'm telling you right now, there's no alcohol, I'm not going to what you're Well, I'm saying that you had alcohol today. I'm saying that. Well, that's fine, you deny that. I'm but, dying. But that's it, we, we are finished because, as far as I'm concerned, you're cheating. Okay, if I was with someone, I'm All right. you're now, cheating too. I've stood, stood on that for, for a few days, and Monday was not the last day you had alcohol. This isn't just Big Daddy C being a control freak, more likely a ploy to get his housemates money. He's called in the Triple M Gestapo to bust Sandy for her drinking. Okay. So we don't actually know how much is in it. There's nothing in it. It was like this much. Something tells me we haven't got to the bottom of the bottle. Well, make that the bottom of the illegal alcohol supply. Mark my words. But the rules are black and white, remember? Either yeah, you've broken that. it or you haven't. I mean, I admit it. I mean, I could have said no, I didn't, mm. but, but I admit it. That's why I'm sitting here with you. Yeah. Yeah. If you wanted to say, it. say to me now, or... I mean, other than that, no. Jealous of Lee and sick of being locked in, our tenants' nerves are starting to wear thin. They're turning on each other. And Triple M is happily feeding their greed by turning them into dobbers at 50 bucks a time and more for uncovering major scams. When Sandy got fined $200 for having a drink on Monday, she dobbed Colin in for something that happened over a week ago involving pizza. Um, and Colin's now said this means war, and this is the sign he made today. My co-conspirator and I thought we'd pay a personal visit to our victims, the uh, contestants. And Kelly was saying that someone did on the toilet seat. Yes, I they always no, she had to bring it up in the meeting because she's outraged. Right, and that's the last time we saw We wanted them at each other's throats, and now they're really dirty on each other. As usual, Big Daddy sees right in the thick of things. I walked in and there was piss all over the toilet seat. Piss in the bowl. There was obviously a guy that had been into the toilet because there was no toilet paper in there. And I didn't see and, um, the corporate walk in. You guys left in the Well, I understand that, and I'll tell you one thing, it definitely was. Well, three things. It was a dark and I'll tell you three night. things. One, the... We had a talk the other day about flushing in the middle of the night, and somebody said, yeah. no, don't do it. Yeah, we all agreed yeah, not to do it. Not we were all here. I flush, I still do it. I don't know if I had that. No, I didn't hear it. Because you don't hear a thing. Because I asked a question. Because I normally No, not everyone was here. No. I didn't hear that. I don't know where we were. But that's not the point. If there's we in the bowl, that's not the problem. Yes. The point is, it's not about that. It's not the point. 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 It's not Good grief. Makes you wonder who the drips really are. Imagine spending an entire evening arguing over a few dribbles on the toilet seat. <laughs> so let's get back to talking. Do, do, well, do we or don't we flush? 
In the middle of the night? Oh, well, I don't. At home, it's only me and my own tour, so well, I don't. Well, listen, I can't stand leaving piss in the bowl. Well, I get nothing to smell in the morning, but I know it's wrong. Yeah, but I can't stand leaving piss in the bowl. Day because day because For a man who's worried about cleanliness, Cole should check out where his serviette's been. Right. Yeah, because you're not going to be able to do flush or not to flush. That is the question. Let's see your shit. Big Daddy's not so flash himself when it comes to cleaning up. But on a more personal level, the others reckon Drew's right on the nose. Well, I think Andrew in particular is an unhygienic, dirty little boy. Um, I think I've noticed him, I think that's him in the shower now. And I think that's the second time I've ever noticed him have a shower. The bottom line, the house from hell stinks. And Drew's not the only culprit. Did you get that earwax out? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> When Drew does clean himself, or anything for that matter, well, it's a cause for celebration. I'm looking after I've been very clean today. Uh, what have I done today so far? You washed him. Yeah. The I've... washing up. Washing of his body. And sort of washing of your body. Just put, fine. Put up, just shave on. his shirt suit pants. And, and you cleaned a bit of your room as well, tidied a bit. Ah! Now clean my teeth even, and then I'll floss. But maybe there's method in Drew's madness. Maybe he's just trying to stink everyone else out of the house. Triple M has a fiendish plan to stir the pot by giving someone a night of freedom. Of course, with strings attached. For the Scottish kid, Lee Hunter. Good morning, Russell. How are you? <laughs> You'd like to date Lee? Yeah. Yeah, what is it about Lee that attracts you? Hang up with him, Andrew. Just his accent. You might show him the house of hell, and I'd like to show him the hose of hell. Mm. The hose of hell? The hose of hell, yes. Yeah. <laughs> we were very impressed, Lee, with Russell. <laughs> oh, no. But in the end, Lee, you'll be relieved to know that we have chosen Sharon. Oh, thank so you. Sir. You've got to make the best of a bad situation, because this is going to be pretty mad. Denton's trying to make a fool out of me, but he won't. I'm going to enjoy it. <laughs> so, I'm off. Shut the door. I'm off Lee the doesn't know it yet. He's about to be face painted like Braveheart. After a week of eating nothing but baked beans, prunes, and ice cream for dinner, greens the turn you green. Big green dog ball. <laughs> This sports report brought to you by Portfolio from St George. Good evening, Matthew White with the latest sports news live from the Gold Coast. Another captain's knock from Mark Taylor, the Australian skipper chalking up his 19th tonne. Only bad light prevented Justin Langer from his first hundred. Andrew Johns becomes Australian Rugby League's Mr Fix-It, his third test for the series, his third position. And we'll go behind the scenes with the IndyCar drivers, plus all of today's action from the Gold Coast. So join me live from Pit Lane for sports tonight at the IndyCars, 5 past 11. This world is over. You've died, Chris. One man will search beyond heaven and hell. I need Annie. You never see her. To find the love he left behind. I'm her soulmate. I can find her. Robin Williams. It's about gut giving up. Cuba Gooding Jr. and Annabella Sciorra. What dreams may come. I'm still here, man. I still exist. Now showing in cinemas everywhere. Hey lady, isn't it time to change that Glade plugins refill? Refill your Glade plugins every 30 days to keep your home Glade fresh. Plug it in, plug it in. What are you doing, 
Thanks, Tim. I bought some toys with the money I saved on my new 1.8 litre twin cam Lantra. Smart, Tim. Lantra run out. Sedan 19,990, sports wagon 20,990. Both drive away with free air plus a thousand dollar cashback. Does your makeup pass the daylight test? <laughs> Mine does. L'Oreal Feel Natural. It looks natural. It feels natural. It hides this little imperfection. Only Feel Natural has a unique light softening formula to cover evenly, edgelessly. So you look natural in any light, especially daylight. L'Oreal Feel Natural. It looks natural in any light. So I feel natural in any light because I'm worth it. The turbocharged rockets are back. Zanavi and Dretti. Fassa and Pruitt. Join the spectacle live and exclusive. The Honda Gold Coast Indy, this Saturday and Sunday on 10. It all began with a proposition. A stranger asked me to shoot him dead. I'd like you to shoot me dead. He had the wrong man, but I had a story. Give me something I can print. I was onto something big. Crooked cops were all over me like a cheap piece of tail. I'm Fletch. This is my story. After a week of eating nothing but baked beans, prunes and ice cream for dinner, the high fibre diet regime had to give way to a dinner boosted with greens. Of course, this is the house from hell, so we're talking about the kind of greens that turn you green. You have to eat every, everything on your plate. <laughs> All right, you cannot have this soup. Oh, Brussels sprouts. <laughs> I love all the vegetables that you serve outside. And if you think sandy and alcohol are a poor mix, well, certain types of food don't necessarily mix any better. I love my vegetables. That's why I'm saying I get them better than baked beans. Mm. Mm. I want the bit with butter in it. Oh, you got butter on You get what you're given. God, I feel like a mother. I look like dog balls. Well, you are. Huh? Big green dog balls. <laughs> I'm not anyone's mother. There's nothing better to choke on than a big plate of chocos, Brussels sprouts, and broad beans. Mm -mm. In a minute, Sandy. We love it. Can I put it in? Uh, in just a second, Sandy. You're getting quite snooty about this, aren't you? I can't believe it, you know, when I was going to eat the one freezing and I can't eat it. Mine's freezing too. Everyone's going to eat it. I was going to serve a pulley fold, actually. This is... That's for the camera. Can you do it for the camera? Can I eat this up too, Jay? I don't heat it up. Now, Sandy. Yes. I've told you that before. Everybody, you're all allowed to heat it up. You just have to be patient and wait. It's not worth five grand for them, let me tell you now, but they're going to have your dignity rather than eat your shit. Hey, listen to Andrew and Amanda. One in oil. That's how it goes, isn't it? One in oil. Mm, very good. So after this, if you want, you still have to eat baked beans. Not beans. You do, you have to eat beans. But one beans. <laughs> Beans and ice cream and prunes. So you still have to eat it, but... Well, listen, I'm just going to have two beans because this is filling me up. Mm. And then I'll have a... Yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't actually ask. I comment. Hmm? It was rhetorical. No. <laughs> These beans are gross. I don't know how to cook them properly. I reckon they do right. That's terrible. Mm. I'll, I'll well, I've got a fetus. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. What? I've, got, I've got a fetus. Oh, yeah! I've got a human fetus in my bowl. <laughs> Mmm, yum. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> no fetus can beat us. No fetus can beat us. <laughs> Chew the bones. <laughs> if you get serious food poisoning, then we will look into it. Food poisoning takes eight hours to kick in. Eight hours? Sandy couldn't even make eight minutes. That's how long it takes before she makes a dash for the loo. <laughs> 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 Roll. Roll. I just had to throw up then. Like, look at all that garlic in there. That's a joke. Wait, wait, Yeah, dinner was okay. Um, I don't mind vegetables. I love all the vegetables that they did give us. Um, 
that I just couldn't hack the gar. There was garlic in the snow in the broad beans. So yeah, I actually vomited. And if he charge and if he actually fines me for not eating the rest of them, I think it is a joke because you shouldn't indulge yourself in, especially if you're throwing up. You should not go back and eat the same thing because obviously the same thing will happen again. But I ate everything else. Um, I just honestly think, Andrew, if you do find me, it is a joke, a big joke, because I tried to eat them all, all, all. Bringing it up hasn't brought Sorry, Sandy any closer to her hellmates. They reckon she was faking it, trusting souls that they I'm are. Really ignoring you. I need a sword and a shield and a horse. You might be able to ride her later on. But you... <laughs> the next night, it's more no, beans. All except for Lee, who's off on one hell of a blind date. I've heard some vicious rumour you're not going to wear underpants. Well, you can't wear underwear. You can't. It's illegal. You're going to freeze, love. I know. I'm going to shrink as well. Tell me about how you're feeling with your kilt and everything. Uh, cold underneath. There's a, the wind gets right up there, which I didn't realise before. And it's chilling me. I've got to chill up my spine. <laughs> I don't think that's your spine that's chilly, Lee. You think this might go well? You never know. You can almost wait and see what happens. Never know. And what are you hoping to see when we get to, uh, to the station where she's going to be? A good looking blonde girl. <laughs> Hello, I'm Sharon. <laughs> hey, Sharon. <laughs> how are you? Well, it's good, thank you. <laughs> what do you think, Sharon, so far? Oh, nice height. <laughs> very sure. Well, I'm the Scottish git. That's all right. Here's your flowers. Oh, thank you very much. You're very welcome. <laughs> You're bound for now. <laughs> I will do. And Dad. Hi. Come a little closer. What do you think of going out with a stranger? Oh, uh, good. Great. Great. Hope and have a nice night tonight. Oh, yeah, this um, abattoir sounds fun. <laughs> Have you eaten uh, haggis before? Um, no, I was a bit too scared to try it when I was over there. So. It's sort of crowded, but yes, the couple get a chance have, to, yes. well, yes, hit it off before yes. the going gets weird. What do you think, Lee? Nice, very nice, very attractive, pleased. Thank you. So it's not really hellish, is it? <laughs> no, no, it's all. Denton, you've, you've stuffed up again, mate. <laughs> She was impressed with how you looked. I don't know, actually. Are you impressed with how I look? Yes, extremely. Lee may not look exactly like Mel Gibson, but Sharon's still smiling. But there's much worse to come. Dinner at the Abattoirs. Welcome to Jason's Slaughterhouse Restaurant, where the food is always the freshest. Enjoy, madame. Sir. Lunch. <laughs> Dinner. Is this fresh? Yeah. I've just passed a sheep's head freshly chopped off. And there is blood all over the right ear. Its tongue is hanging yeah. down. You get him on the head a bit. No, no I'm not touching it. Very, no, I'm not touching it. No. He's yeah. asking us to actually touch it, but I'm not going to touch oh, that. No. A heart-to-heart -heart date. But will Lee end up with the meal from hell? I'm still bleeding. goodness for Holden Dealer's biggest ever quality used car sale. This Friday and Saturday only. At your Holden Dealer. Metamucil is definitely for someone like me who's very uh, health conscious. I felt rather sluggish. Feeling my age. I felt like I had a traffic jam inside me. I don't think I was getting enough fibre in my diet. Metamucil is a natural fibre. Since taking Metamucil, you could say I'm as regular as clockwork. It's not as if you're bolting to the toilet. <laughs> I felt a lot healthier. And it helps go through the system and it's very cleansing. It tastes great. Cheers. I used to think everything was normal, but now I know there's a better kind of normal. My mum likes your life yoga the best. Mm. Dad likes your life custard the best. Mm. And my big sister Emma likes your life smoothies the best. Oh, I can't decide. I think they're all yummy. Soy life milk and new yogurt smoothies and custard. Really healthy, really delicious. Yep, all of them. Rex 
Axona for men has more active power to keep you dry all day long. No alcohol, no stinging. Rexona for men. It never lets you down. Saturday. I want your blood. I want your soul. And I want them both right now. The greatest legend of them all. Not revenge he's after. It's a record. Saturday on 10. Tombstone. If Lee thought he was in for a killing with Sharon, he was right, in a way. These abattoirs west of the city aren't listed among the top ten restaurants, but they do have the very freshest cuts of meat. They kill everything here from sheep and cattle to ostrich and emu. It's a bit like those fancy places where you handpick your ingredients, only on a much bigger scale. And you've got a choice of meat, meat and, well, meat. In terms of date difficulty, we're looking at a 10 it's Absolutely here. disgusting. I'm glad I'm out now. Well, and they expect us to eat after this, although well, I've not got a hope in hell. My stomach actually hurts. It's a place with very strict dress rules, but we suspect Lee's hopes of a hot date are taking a dive, along with the temperature. So, Lee, what did you think of the tour of the abattoir? Um, different. I've never... Um, now for that scrumptious main course. And Sharon's passions are also cooling. Great first date. <laughs> oh, you'd have to be a real brave heart to tackle this. Oh, no. Dinner is served. Uh, what is it? Lee, what do you want to go out first, mate? Right? I don't, know, I don't even actually know what it is. It's just it's still bleeding. Uh, I think I think that's a heart and that's a heart. I don't know what that is. Um, I don't even know if that's a liver. But that's a bad. That's I don't know what that bad. big big thing is. <laughs> that's not bad. Overall, it's a nice nice looking dessert. For fifty dollars, could be uh, tempted to taste some. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> Not a chance on this planet, mate. Oh, Not for no money. Just tell us what you can see in front of you, Lee. Well, what I can see is a big just red, purpley coloured liver um, and three other things. And I can't even, even describe what they look like. They're just, um, I don't know, they're just horrible. I don't know what they are. But it's definitely dead. I remember, oh, sorry, I remember dissecting something like this at school in science class. I bet you never thought it would be dished up to you one day. No, no, not at all. Guys, enjoy. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Can you pick which one is the testicle? Oh, is there a testicle there? Is there? I should know that as well. <laughs> um, I'd say I'd it's that one there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, Gross. <laughs> I like my food cooked. Oh, and that was the end of the blind date. Lee has managed to line up a second, less public date with Sharon when the lockup's over. Meantime, he's been allowed to break the alcohol ban with a consolation beer. But he's less than happy about all the suggestions being aired on radio that he'll be bringing Sharon home for a bit of slap and tickle in front of the internet camera. I know, but I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I imagine her parents, I've met her parents. Oh, they know it's Triple M, they know what radio is. They know what radio is. Yeah, and that's all real. Yeah, they know what radio is. Yeah, that's all real. They know what radio is. Yeah, that's all real. You're a bit worried it's going to, um... Yeah, no, well, I'm just worried the parents are going to get, like, thinking, shit, he's that Scottish kid that's going to try and put my daughter on the internet, basically. <laughs> and that, that, that's not my intentions at all, honestly. Not. <laughs> Bullshit! Exactly. Bullshit! So, um... Well, well, it is my intentions, but can, I'm not going to put that out in the air, but... I can serenade them like I did you two last night. <laughs> Because I'm available for weddings. Oh, the, the, the person was beautiful.
beautiful. She's a really nice girl. She's right, nice looking, nice right, personality. Right, right, it's just the, the settings, right, the surroundings wasn't okay. too good. Bye. So I promise to take her out tomorrow night and uh, do it right this time. Take her for a nice meal. And then I told her to show her the shit to take her house in hell. She's looking forward to looking, actually seeing the house as well. So. But um, I, just, I don't want that getting put out in there because that's not very nice. Her parents must be thinking, shit, my daughter's getting bagged on air because she's going to have sex on the internet and all that. That's a lot of rubbish, basically. Please, she went to an avatar with you. I know, yeah, but like, what? That means she's going to sleep with me live. No, that's live not what I'm saying. I'm saying she understands the concept of the joke. Well, I hope so, that's all. You're so precious about getting your roots, aren't you? No. Like, I'm investing here. No. Like, I'm investing here. Yeah, I'm taking Jenny, you know, Jason, who supervised Jason, who supervised the date, well. has a different view of <laughs> Lee's intentions. <laughs> all last night in the car, he's going, I'm in like Flynn, baby. You know. She's you know. mine. I mean, he had some whiskey, I know, but he, he's the dirtiest man. Surely the dirtiest Scotsman in, yeah, in Sydney. Whiskey makes him frisky. <laughs> <laughs> At least Lee was able to be a little more diplomatic in describing the date on radio. I was lying drunk as a skunk on my lounge room floor with my kilt round my head and the mobile phone basically up my bum. <laughs> and I couldn't, I couldn't hear nothing. I was in a drunken stupor. Is that right? We wonder why it was ringing like this. <laughs> Doubt it, the two-week lock-in is nearly over. All the housemates are hanging out for their first taste of freedom. One's living close to the drum kit, actually. Drew, in particular, has been bragging about getting down and funky with his girlfriend. Andrew, I know that uh, over this two weeks, you've been missing your girlfriend, Michelle, greatly. Isn't that right? Yes. Yeah, you're, you're actually very keen to see her because you're allowed out at midnight on Sunday night. What are your plans on Sunday night, Andrew? Uh, to go visit her and um, talk lovingly. Talk lovingly. I think your plan is a little bit more graphic than that, aren't they, Andrew? Oh, I, I don't know. Um, I suppose it depends on what she comes up with. Well, you did mention to me the other day that you were hoping that she'd be lying there waiting for you, naked below the waist, have done her own foreplay so that you just arrive, bang, it all happens. Come on, don't put words into my mouth, please. But Drew's just about to be the fall guy for yet another hell stunt. So, so Andrew! <laughs> Up next in tonight's late news, searching for more clues, federal police scour the ship at the centre of yesterday's massive heroin haul. The Atlanta bombing and the FBI close in on their chief suspect. Also tonight, Sydney's new link to an international child sex ring, fears for the future of the Sydney rock oyster, heads turn at Prince Harry's schoolboy antics, and precious metal, the hottest wheels to hit town, unveiled at this year's motor show. Stay on 10, details next. Nice, sir. Easy as Telstra Call Connect 12456. Yeah. Telstra Call Connect. You call, we connect you, and you can get straight through. Telstra Call Connect 12456. Yep, it's that easy. They're back. SEL presents Cold Chisel, the last wave of summer tour. Brisbane Entertainment Centre, December 13 and 14. Book Friday at Ticketek. Cold Chisel, the tour. It's time Australia rocked again. What are you doing, Tim? I bought some toys with the money I saved on my new 1.8 litre twin cam Lantra. Smart, Tim. 
Land Rover Sedan 19990, Sports Wagon 20,990. Both drive away with free air plus a thousand dollar cash back. See Australia's hottest music acts with live performances by Regurgitator. The Whitlam's Bachelor Girl and Natalie Imbruglia. Paul McDermott hosts the 12th Annual Aria Music Awards. 8.30 Tuesday, exclusive to Tam. <laughs> I was sort of umming and ahhing on the on the phone to Andrew Denton and as soon as I heard Matchbox 20 tickets, that was it. I wasn't going to see him that night, for sure. <laughs> I wanted those tickets. <laughs> Drew's Night of Nights, that very special reunion with his girlfriend, has just gone out the window. He's been dumped for the night. Michelle's been bribed with concert tickets and a night out with her pals. Ooh. Michelle knows how Drew feels about the finer things in life. <laughs> He's the biggest nymphomaniac I've ever met. Every conversation with us. <laughs> None of this is easing Drew's pain. He doesn't know where she is, but he's still raring to bust out from the house from her. Just minutes to go, and everyone's watching the clock. Uh, yes! Save up in a few minutes. Rock and roll and ready to go. Rock on. TJ, they're all going. Are you happy? I am ecstatic. I am out. That's, that's why I want you to open it. All right, I don't care. Just get out. I need some sleep. I'm getting on at 6 in the morning. Just get out. <laughs> We'd like to present you with a piece of cutlery. Yes! Don't say get the chicken. My mum. Door! I want to be Yeah, we got 30 seconds off the game. Now all of the bad times. Ha ha ha. 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 Ha Come out, Vic. The house from Hell Boys. Yeah, the car's on fire. Don't worry about that. The Mac has to put that out. These boys are famous. <laughs> They're celebrities. I'm just glad to be part of them. I didn't check my car. I wonder if they serve baked beans here. Give my nothing mine yet. Yeah, I'm going to have some big pieces of Luke, how are you, Luke? Joss's plans for a big boozy night have hit a snag. All her friends are in bed. <laughs> Where are you going? We just got let out of the house about half an hour ago. So I had to come back. 
Um, there's no one at the pub tonight, I'm so disappointed. All the lights are out, there's nothing happening. And I was all keyed up for a huge amount of drill, see everyone again. There's no one at the pub, there's nothing happening. I'm in a frenzy, I'm not sure quite what to do with myself. I should probably go and find a water and pull it. Night out was a night in. What did I do? Yeah. Today? Had sex. <laughs> and again, and again. Yeah, and again, yeah. Oh, good. Um, went to work, came home, took the wife out for lunch, uh, did some work and come back here. Stop touching me. The actual girl. <laughs> Don't bloody yourself. Take a seat. And it was good for you? It was excellent. You had a bit of time with the kids. And it was good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. The gang caught up at the nearest pub to swap tails. Well, all except Sandy, who wasn't invited. But she's had her own party. The bad girls are right. <laughs> hey, had a great day. Did you? Worked, yep, yeah, had a beautiful day. And I decided. But I want to try and get on with everyone, if I can. So I'm going to Andrew, you funky person you may, you might be. Everyone's you know, me. Um, yeah, like, my dog has got, he's got, like, on hand. Yeah, so like if they don't want to like get on with me, that's fine with me, but I'm gonna stick it out and I'm just gonna virtually hang by myself, try and get on with them. If I can't, I'm still gonna stay sane because I'm like out every day going to work at least. Mm -hmm. Keeps me together. Had a few drinks. So my dad, my dad drove me here not many in tomorrow morning. He's working night shift, which is great because he's going to be because he works at the airport. Me and Lee. Coming back through at 7 o'clock, great, perfect time for me, pick me up 20 past 7, go home, go to work. That's right. And then I don't get enough to drink tribal. Which is good. Hey, Joss. Hey, darling. Do you want to call a truce? No, what truce? Anything truce. Do you want it? <laughs> Are you pissed? <laughs> no, I'm not drunk. I'm not as drunk as you guys, I'll tell you that right me, now. I've been driving around driving. the past six oh, hours. You know what, I was straight. actually going to, when I was on the air, I was going to say, I hope there is a designated driver. <laughs> it was me. So do you want to call the truce with everything? Do you want to try and get on? I don't want to drive it for a Do you want to come try and get on? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Okay? Well, no, seriously. Don't have a tea. No, seriously? Have a tea? No? Have a tea. You want a beer? Okay. Okay, no, do you want to try and get on? A beer? Yeah, that's fine. No. But do you want to try and get on? Yeah, Did they fine. say truce or trench warfare? No, Colin's on. spoiling for a showdown. It's four against two. And even Kelly's support is wavering. This time, the blue is over a hidden mobile phone. And it's about to deteriorate into World War III. I told the f***ing truth. I told the f***ing truth. I told them truth. I've told everything. Has Sandy had enough? Will she pack her bags and leave? Join us next week when an unholy union between our hellmates results in the untimely arrival of a very cranky new housemate. The shared sleeping arrangements dampen any thoughts of privacy or pleasure. And those found to be breaking the rules find themselves having to answer to Mistress Sabrina, a specialist in handing out cruel and unusual punishment. Hello, Mr. Closer. In the house, bro. House, bro.